Welcome back to Zero Two Fight Stick. In previous episodes, we've installed buttons, unwrapped the case, showed you what you need, installed some Nutric pass-throughs. Let's mount some switches. These are little rocker switches. And what they're going to enable us to do is three things. First, we'll have a tournament lockout, which means can't use start, can't use select, can't use guide, etc. That way, we can't disqualify ourselves during a heated match. That's no fun. Or, you know, someone can't stealthily reach over and go, let's hit your start button, it's really nice and I like to press it. Second, we're going to take advantage of the Brooks board. It has the ability to switch between directional stick, left stick, and right stick. So we'll have a three-way switch for that. And we'll also have a switch that toggles between the UFB and the retro. All right, so let's get started. What are you going to need? First of all... I use, since we used a standard three hole side from AFS, these are 24 millimeter mounts. We need switches that will fit in there. And these are SCI switches. I just searched for SCI 24 millimeter rocker switch. And they do come in a red LED or a green LED, and they have a nice satisfying snap when you rock them this way or that. Uh, we need two of those because we have two switches that are just one way or the other. Uh, we do need, as you probably saw, one of these little guys that switches between three positions, the on, off, on. And make sure, this should have three pins, make sure you uh, get one of those that works for you. Unfortunately, this does not, I cannot find one that comes in 24 millimeter like the SCIs. Uh, this is generic, Cherry makes some, or ZF as they're called now. If you like those, they all seem pretty similar to me. However, like I mentioned, this only comes in a 20 millimeter mount, which means we need a little something to make it fit. This is our sacrificial sample button, which we mentioned way back then now. Uh, what we're going to do with it, this is a screw on button, sort of similar to what we have installed. Uh, what we're going to do, remove the ring, set that aside. We want to actually ply off this plunger and take out this switch and we're going to need a little Dremel action to make that fit. This is a grinder bit. You only need to use really low speed. We'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, which means you want some help taking off that plunger and such. We need Mr. Mini Screwdriver. And also, since these guys all have a notch here and I've tried, I've tried, I've tried, you cannot force it through very nicely. Uh, this is a this is a Swiss Army knife with a metal file. You can also use a Dremel bit and tool to cut a little notch for them. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is disassemble this Sanwa button just so we have it ready. So there are two locking tabs that hold the plunger in place. All you want to do is just wedge your screwdriver in there and pop it out. And bye bye. Sorry, that's never coming back. All right, now we've got a nice hole, but there's a switch still inside that would block our swi our uh, rocker switch installed. So there should be tabs right here and right here. Let me kind of push in and extract this. All right. So just a note on getting that switch out. It's a little deceptive. There are tabs on the sides. You want to push them in, but instead of pulling this out, you want to push it in, and it comes right out. And there we go. There's our housing. What we're going to want to do, this is this square end here in the back, that's still not big enough. So what we need to do is hollow this out so it's a nice big circle that will fit our switch. In addition to that, because that switch has little fins, it's hard to see. We're going to need to make a bit of a notch on either end. Otherwise, it can't quite get in there, so we'll just need to cut that with the Dremel or otherwise. I'm not going to show that on camera because I don't want pieces going everywhere, so we'll be right back. And we're back, thanks to Movie Magic. So what we did was we went ahead and hollowed out that Sanwa button end, 
And we also cut some notches. So there's one here, one here, and a little one here. Um, you probably don't even really need this one. There is There are three tabs on this switch. You see that's for anti-rotation, one here, and one here. Uh, all we want to do is just take these big notches, and I used a cutting wheel on these, so hopefully it came out a little smoother, and just kind of line these up. And shove it on in. There's really nothing fancy about that. And there we go. Now we have a 20 millimeter switch housed in a 24 millimeter housing and we're ready to mount it. So this is going to be, I'm going to point, there's one, zero, and two, I'm going to point the one towards me in this instance. And then all we have to do is just apply this locking ring. Now you'll notice on this locking ring there is one side that has little kind of teeth. Go ahead and just make sure that's towards the case. And just a few notes on Dremeling. You know, wear eye protection, of course. Uh, use the lowest speed if you have an adjustable Dremel because this is plastic. It'll melt really fast if you're not careful. And just go slow, real slow. I took about 15 minutes just doing that button, but it's the only one we ha I have to do in this project, so we're set. And look at that. Our switch is mounted. Uh, I think I could have done a better job on it not make the notches so much on the outside as they were on the inside but it's there it's set and we're we're ready to go with wiring that later as for our sci switches these bigger 24 millimeter um, i want to point one so the led faces me but as you might be able to see <laughs> it's not going in the other one will face this way also not going in. What we need to do is use that metal file because you'll notice there is a retaining tab right on top here. We just need to cut a notch to let that slide in and snap in. Um, I'm not going to show that on camera because it will take a while. It's a lot of dead air, no fun at all. However, you'll get to see it right in a minute here. we're back. Now all I did was cut that little notch with this old guy. Side note, this is like 30 year old Swiss Army knife. Everyone should have one. Because uh, you never know when you need a fish scaler out in the wild. Anyway, just cut that little notch with the nail, with the uh, metal file, or you can use a Dremel. Um, go slow, cut only what you need to, because that notch that we're cutting for is an anti-rotation and we don't want this spinning around too much. You want it to have a really snug fit. Um, that said, it does rotate. Uh, it's just the nature of the case. I haven't found an answer for fixing that yet, but maybe in a future episode I'll say, hey, I found a great new thing that fixes this, and you're all set, and you, you'll be amazed. It'll be awesome. But not quite yet. Sorry. Uh, now for our other hole, I want, since the LED for this is facing this way, I'm going to turn this the other way and have it face, well, me when I'm playing. So that way I just find it's a nice symmetry. That's all. Um, so this switch is going to be for our tournament lockout. It's nice and close to our buttons here. You can route that through all along and then over to here so we're not hitting buttons we don't want to. And then this switch, again, switching between directional pad, left stick, right stick for games that need that for whatever reason. And then this switch, once we get it in, it's going to be for switching mainly between the retro and the UFB. Now for this one again, since we're doing this, we have to, and the notch is facing up, I need to cut the notch here, and you'll see that in a second. Okay, we're back. Notice I got this guy in, all nice and neat, and we're all set with mounting our switches. In a future section, we'll talk about getting those actually wired up, the more important thing, but for now, 
they are mounted up and are ready to be connected and deliver some goodness for it. All right, see you guys in the next episode.